In this video, I show two methods that you can use to lace your Air Force Ones without having to tie them every time. The first is a loose lacing style that you can just slip on, and the second is a cheap item called a lace anchor that will hold your laces in place no matter what lacing style you do, so you can slip them straight on with no tying. I've timestamped how to do the loose lace style and how to use lace anchors below, so you can skip to the one you like the look of. Now, lace anchors are a handy little tool that are really cheap, to be honest, that you can use to slip onto a lace like this. Just sort of feed it through. And you just pull the lace through it like that. Do you see? It creates like a little tightening anchor. And then you can just pull it all the way down the lace until it sits flush against the inside of your shoe. And then you just tighten it up by pulling the other end of the lace through like this. And what you'll be left with is a little anchor that holds your laces in place. Now your lace can't come loose the other side and it can't come loose from the inside either, meaning that this kind of eliminates the need for tying knots or bows altogether. And then you can just tuck the lace end down inside the shoe and rest assured that your pattern design will never come loose. I've put a link in the description for some cheap lace anchors that I like that you can take a look at if you want. Begin by taking the little Air Force Ones tag and lacing your two lace ends up through each of the holes from underneath, just like this. Then pull it all the way down until it reaches the bottom there. And make sure it's facing the right way up before we thread it into the two very bottom eyelets of your Air Force Ones. Go ahead and thread your lace end down into the very bottom eyelet, pull it all the way through and make sure the little metal tag is sitting the right way up. Then do the other side. Flip it over, there we go. Now we're gonna start with this lace end, take it across the sneaker tongue and down into the second eyelet up from the bottom on this side. We wanna go down into it from above and not up through it from underneath. So make sure you get that bit right. Just like that, put this one out of the way. Swap to the other lace, take it down into the corresponding eyelet on the other side from above just like that. Then we're going to keep a hold of this one, bring it into the third eyelet up from the bottom on this side, just like that, put it out of the way. And we're going to keep going th with this pattern all the way up the shoe. So just go slowly, put the video on half speed if you need to, just keep pausing and making sure you're getting it right. And we're going to keep a hold of this lace, bring it over into the next eyelet. Put it out of the way. Sort back to this one and into the next eyelet here. Now, when you reach the little tongue loop, just thread your lace end through it. it. Can be a little bit fiddly. Just pull it through like this, and then take the lace and go down into the eyelet from above, just like we've been doing. Make sure there's no twists. Take the other lace and we'll just thread it through the tongue loop to sit on top of the other lace that's already through there. And then down into this open eyelet here. Keep a hold of this lace, bring it over through. Now your Air Force Ones might have more or less eyelets than me depending on your shoe size but what you should do is when you reach the very top eyelets stop here and what we're going to do is take our laces and we're going to go up into them from underneath this time not down into them from above. Just like that and up into it on this side from underneath not down from above making sure there's no twists.
Now you'll see that these lace ends are super long and what we're going to do here is we're going to shorten them until they're just around about the right size for the loose lace style. And again on the other side, keep pulling it all the way through until it's the length that you like. And then we're going to take these two extra lace bits here and we're literally just going to slip them behind the sneaker tongue. And they will just sit on top of your foot and they won't bother your foot at all and you'll be able to slip your feet in and out, no problem. Repeat this lacing style on the other shoe and you'll have a really awesome pair of loose laced Air Force Ones. If you found the info in this video helpful, please hit the like button to help it reach more people and consider subscribing for more shoe lacing and footwear content. Thank you.